Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness, the guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for uh, a little more information uh, for the week. So let's just go ahead and get started. What insight or messages can you give us? Okay, so give me a second to take a look at the cards and get a sense of what is going on. Okay, so we start with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune, you can see this wheel here, and you know, the Wheel of Fortune really represents the cycle of life, of how life has its ups and downs. And so there are times when everything in your world is running smoothly. And so you're kind of on top of the wheel and in its upright position, you are, you know, things are probably going according to planned and probably no complaints. And uh, this is a sense of, of, you know, life kind of brings us cycles of things that happen to us and many of them are random. And so you have to, uh, approach it like that, that some, sometimes um, weeks are easier or days are easier than others. And other days, it seems everything runs according to the master plan. So one of the things to think about with the Wheel of Fortune is that as much as, you know, fate and the universe spinning the wheel and kind of what happens, happens, you, you can't lose your power you do have the, um, uh, you have everything that you need to create and to fulfill your destiny. You can't just um, say, well, that's it's just what the world has handed to me. I'm not gonna try. You know, with uh, the wheel of fortune, it's like the ups and downs in life, but you know, you can take a part and you can do things to improve the situation. And if you're in a good situation, you can be grateful for what is. And you maybe have in the back of your mind that I, I better enjoy this now because you never know. Things could change tomorrow. And I think when you come from that approach with um, appreciation for where you are, if you're in a good place, that that kind of sets the tone for you in the event that, whoops, the wheel flows and goes in a different direction. But you know, the wheel is always spinning and events and the randomness of life is always happening. So for you, you know, it seems that you're in a good place. And then we have the fool. And we see our fool here carrying the stick with a little sack, the sack here that has the, probably all the possessions that he feels he needs. And the little dog there is saying, hey, watch out. Watch out, there's a cliff. So you may have an opportunity to take a leap of faith. You may have an opportunity to take a risk or to do something that is maybe outside of your comfort zone and may represent a new, something that feels very new to you and something very carefree. And I think that that's good in life because when you have opportunities to take a leap of faith it kind of is invigorating and it brings you back to life versus the monotony of life and so with the fool you know it's often a new cycle a new beginning maybe you're choosing to pursue a new job maybe you're looking for a different type of relationship maybe you're looking for a new location but it this is really a leap of faith or taking a risk now the flip side to that or the thing to be mindful of 
is that, you know, there's a difference between taking a risk and being carefree versus being reckless and, um, you know, knowingly so. Like putting all of your savings, uh, you know, on the roulette wheel in Vegas. Probably not your best choice, but, um, you know, so that's just the thing to be thinking about. That The Fool is a lovely card because it's about new beginnings. It's about having that carefree, fresh spirit of maybe getting involved in a new venture, getting involved in a new uh, hobby or in a new relationship. And that newness is very exciting. And it, it, uh, you know, it brings you happiness that, uh, you know, you're just kind of feeling loose and pleased. But just be mindful of um, having a leap of faith and then being reckless to your own harm. So... We also now have the star, another fabulous card. And the star, you can see the woman without her clothes is pouring water into the pool and pouring water onto earth. Guided by the large star and then the little star stars also shining down. And so, you know, we look to stars for inspiration. We look to the stars and we dream upon the stars, you know, make a wish upon a shooting star. And so when we see the star card, this is really um, a card of hope. This is a card of you having optimism and the belief and the faith that everything's gonna be okay and that you are going to be able to feel secure in who you are you're gonna be able to feel vulnerable without feeling risk. And you're gonna be able to know that, um, you know, the universe is gonna take care of you. And that if you put your faith and your trust in the stars and the world above, that it is going to uh, see to it that you're okay. Really, this card is, is I always think of the central message as hope. It's the hope is the one fabric that we can rely on to keep us warm, to keep us comforted in times of need is not to lose your hope. And so shining bright with this star and, uh, you know, the sense of the physical and the spiritual water and the earth coming together is important because it's for you to feel whole and to feel complete and to feel uh, a sense of, um, just a sense of healing. So if you've been not feeling well, if you've been um, lacking energy, you know, this would be a good time for you to, to restore, to rest, to um, take bubble baths, or to go for walks in nature, or to meditate, or take yoga, get a massage, go into a sauna and sweat it out. But this is a time for you to heal, to restore yourself, and mostly to meditate on the idea of having optimism and of having faith and hope that everything's going to turn out for you. And truthfully, in your cards, it does because you have the Six of Wands. And this Six of Wands, excuse me, <clears throat> this Six of Wands we see the nicely dressed guy on his horse riding into town with his wand in his hand and his victory wreath. And he's also wearing a wreath. So you are going to have success. You are going to be recognized for your success. People are going to notice you that you're doing a great job. And you know what? They're going to pat you on the back and they're going to tell you, hey, super job on that project. Or Wow, what an amazing painting you created. That's fabulous, I wanna buy it. So Six of Wands is, is awesome because it's like a lot of hard work that you've put into it is gonna re result in success. You know, you have been a, uh, you've been someone that someone can look toward as how did they do that? How did they get that promotion? How did they get that big bonus? It's because they've worked hard, they probably had a lot of self-control and stayed to their plan, worked their plan. So 
This is a card about recognition, acclaim, uh, on a very basic level. How does this translate? This could be a promotion for you. It could be a bonus. It could be a certificate. It could be a shout out at the, you know, the weekly meeting with your colleagues. But this is celebrating your success and uh, that you are able to be successful. And, you know, there is a lot of success in this reading because you also have the major arcana um, comparable card, the chariot. It's just tons of happiness from the success, from the star, got the sun. And the sun, we see the little child riding the horse with the red cape flowing and with the sun radiating. Well, the sun is about our life force. The sun is shining on you and you are taking in the radiation, not the radiation, you are taking the radiating waves and you are uh, taking in all of that wonderful energy that allows you to be creative, that allows you to be inspired, that allows you again to feel carefree. You know, as with the fool, you know, this is a sense of, of happiness and joy coming to you. And you're going to be shining, shined upon. You know, you're going to be, people will look to you, you're glowing because you're happy. And whether you're in a relationship, it's a happy relationship, whether you found the right type of job, you know, there's a sense of happiness here. Sun, the sun is one of the most positive cards about being, uh, having vitality, having energy, being creative, having the desire to have fun and to be free. So you have a lot of um, really positive things coming your way. And it continues, we have the Page of Swords. And when we see a page, page represents youthful energy. Could be someone in your circle who's youthful and has these qualities, or could be qualities that you would benefit from. So what's the Page of Swords like? Well. He standing here with his little sword, he's got his head turned. Almost looks like he's in a defensive position, like he's waiting. But, you know, with the Page of Swords, it's this uh, appreciation for knowledge and for reason and for being logical and rational. That's what the swords element brings. And so uh, you may have some ideas that you want to put into play, but, you know, you're going to Take the time to think about all the issues that affect it or all of the sides that might impact your decision. So this is a card where you're going to maybe do your due diligence before you take off on a new venture. Uh, this is probably the card that's going to protect you from being reckless because this is good. you're going to be thinking about things, about how to pursue, how to make it happen. With the swords, you look at both sides of a matter and... With this Page of Swords, it's a, it's a sense of communication, of being able to clearly um, speak your mind, tell the truth, act with fairness. So very earnest approach, I think, of um, not, not emotional, not, too, not very emotional, much more rational and logic-based, fact-based. So you're gonna be making, you're gonna have um, the power of the Page of Swords like kind of looking at your facts where you can, you know, you're going to have a solid decision-making infrastructure there. And in, we've got the Eight of Wands. In the Eight of Wands, we see these wands hurtling. They're hurtling, looks like they're hurtling toward Earth. And so a couple things that could mean that uh, you're re really busy. You've got a lot going on. It's going to be a month of activity for you of multiple things happening and so you're going to have to be on your game to be able to to uh, handle everything could also signal that some projects are coming to an end are coming to their closure because ultimately these wands will hit the earth and then you'll toss up some new new wands you're going to toss up some new ideas and some new things that you want to put into play but this Eight of Wands can also suggest that you're going to be getting some news, that news is arriving. And uh, again, um, 
you know, this is, uh, to me, it's, it's really about lots of things on your plate. You've got a lot going on, and it could be all of this ideas and the celebrations, and maybe it results in, you know, new challenges or new opportunities for you. So news and projects either coming to their natural close, successful close, and then you uh, picking it up and, and tossing them back in the air for another, another set of goals or accomplishments. And then we have the chariot. <clears throat> and the chariot is, this guy is, is driving the chariot with the two sphinxes, a black one and a white one, and that can, can symbolize opposing forces. You know, we always have this uh, dueling, dueling ideas in life and things that we have to navigate through. It's really finding the balance. And this charioteer does it with mastery and shows such control and is able to drive forward. So at a very literal level, this could mean that you're taking a road trip or going somewhere. Uh, on other matters, it could be that uh, you know, you're gonna be, again, having more success. This is about victory in the major arcana. The six of wands is about victory in the minors, but this is about fulfilling your goals, uh, coming through any adversity or obstacles. You're able to navigate successfully and you're gonna be successful here. And so with the chariot brings um, recognition. And again, we see a theme of recognition, which is here and, and the, the star shining bright with you with the star and with the sun. And here with the chariot, it's about having the skills and the discipline to ride into the winner's circle. And I will always give this example that it's, think about the champions for the NBA or back uh, with, you know, the astronauts and the ticker tape parade and of riding in the cars in the parade and people cheering you on. You know, that's what the chariot brings. It brings success and it brings um, the feeling of victory to you. And certainly the idea of, <clears throat> of winning and being successful certainly is captured within the cards for you. Let me just take a look here while I have a sip, if I've missed anything. Nope, I, th I think this is a really positive spread. You know, handling with skill the ups and downs of life, taking a leap of faith, a smart leap of faith results in your success, results in you feeling like a winner, and uh, it, most importantly, it's going to bring you happiness and bring you joy and bring you more energy and inspiration. So I'd like to pull a card for love, and we'll get a sense of what love has in store for you. And this is unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So unity is about, uh, gosh, such a wonderful wor word to come together, to come together with a, another person or to love a group, whether you're a teacher and you love your class, you know, all of that love uh, it gets bundled up and gets tossed out into space and into the universe and everybody feels that love. It's a collective consciousness and when you can amplify your love, when you can tell someone that you love them, is a powerful, powerful thing to do and uh, certainly suggests that um, you're vulnerable and you're willing to take that risk to tell someone how you feel, because you never know what may be on the other side of that, of maybe they don't return the feelings, but to love and to unconditionally love someone is 
uh, one of the greatest joys of living. And when you are able to show love and respect for everyone, you know, it really does make the, our world a better place. And so I think this is a beautiful card. And if you are in love, tell someone that you are in love. And if you're hoping to find love, uh, just keep having affirmations that you want the universe to send to you, your soulmate, uh, at the right time, the right time for both of you. And then let's take a look at a focus area for, for our Something to practice, perhaps something to work on. Positivity, positivity, faith, and optimism. So again, this reinforces the sun and the star, which is to have faith and to be optimistic about your life and to be optimistic about what's happening for you and the opportunities that you have. If you look at life through a positive lens, then I think that you're going to be in a much better position to receive like-minded messages from the universe. If you're always operating from a negative or a Debbie Downer kind of place, then it's just, uh, it's hard to get out of that cycle. So when we, you know, to have faith that everything is going to be okay, and then to have optimism and to have belief in yourself that, you know, you, it gives you the strength to keep on going. It gives you the belief in yourself and um, you know, it's, you have to visualize and you have to believe first before anything can come true and before anything can manifest is that you have to buy into it and your affect, your whole being has to have this um, optimistic slant because that's going to benefit you the most versus looking at the downside, looking at the negativity. Um, you know, people want to be around other positive people or optimistic people because it rubs off. And, you know, it's you're going to be closer to reaching your goals if you're optimistic rather than pessimistic. So I think this is a beautiful message to focus on faith, optimism, and being positive in all aspects of your life. For and to unify to feel unity, to love, and to let your love shine for everybody. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. And if you enjoyed it, please like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And it's a great way to show support and to stay connected. And I hope that you will check back again for other readings that I do daily, weekly, monthly. And I appreciate your time very much and hope that you have a super. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.